Item G, receive report and provide direction to staff regarding amendments to massage establishment ordinance to confirm to conform to new state law. City Attorney. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, you know, most cities have laws in effect that deal with um, massage establishments, and the reason that that's of a concern to many cities is because some of them act as fronts for the sex industry. And for these very same reasons, San Bruno has a comprehensive regulatory scheme um, that limits where and how such establishments can operate. The where is that the city's current zoning regulations limit a massage establishments the same way as they do adult businesses. So they essentially treat them the same. Um, they're not permitted as home occupations. They can only be in certain districts. They can't be within 500 feet of a residential district and so on. The how is that massage practitioners have to come to the city and get a permit in order to practice their trade. And uh, if there is a massage establishment, likewise, they have to come in and get a business license from the city and have to go through a particular uh, background check, licensing procedure, they have to comply with certain health and safety regulations, et cetera. Now, uh, there have, uh, over time in California and across the nation, been a group of very active um, massage practitioners who wish to distinguish themselves from um, the more tawdry image that people sometimes think of when uh, we talk about massage establishments. And so they looked for a way to sort of legitimize what they do. So recently, Governor Schwarzenegger signed into law SB 731, which does just that. And what it does is it takes away regulation from the cities. Um, so where before it was t uh, just a local issue, it is now a mixture of, uh, subject to a mixture of state and local control. So here's how that occurs. Effective September 2009, um, the state has authorized the creation of a nonprofit entity that's under the aegis of the state. It's referred to in the law as a massage therapy organization. It may have some other name eventually. And what that organization will do is certify massage therapists and practitioners. And there are certain regulations set up for how they need to be qualified to do that. Um, more importantly, for the city's purposes, um, when somebody receives a certificate from the massage therapy organization, once they have done that, then they are not subject uh, to city control. They are not required to come to the city to get a permit in order to uh, practice as a massage therapist. And with respect to businesses, if a sole practitioner likewise has this um, certification or uh, employs only those with this state certification, then the consequence of that to the city is that the city cannot apply any different zoning or building regulations to um, that business. So uh, practitioners who don't go to get the state certification, they're still subject to the same city regulations, but those who do get the certification and those businesses must be treated differently. So um, this requires us to make certain amendments to our code, and I think that they can be handled in a fairly simple manner, and that is to provide certain exemptions <coughs> within our code that, in accordance with state law, um, just simply do not require them to get a state permit, do not require them to get a uh, business license from the city if they are qualified by the MTO organization. Now, there's still some tweaks that we, meet, we need to make to the ordinance that I provided. The police department is looking at some of the health and safety regulations. You're still allowed to regulate that to some extent, but not like before. For example, um, the city cannot require, as it currently does, that if uh, that the doors be opened. So if the, if the establishment does not have somebody available to um, uh, act as sort of security at the front door, then they're able to lock the door. Uh, previously, the police would generally require as a building code requirement that there be a window in the door. No longer allowed if uh, they are certified by the state. So um, at this point, do you have any questions for me or any other direction that you want to provide? Question from the council? How, how many known massage therapists do we have in San Bruno? I mean, are they all the ones that we know have to have a business license? Yes. Okay. And, and they will continue to have, they still have to get a business license. And one of the things that we can lay out in the ordinance is 
uh, those things that will help us ensure that they're legitimately certified by the state. What do they have to show to us? How often do they have to show it to us? Um, when they get new people employed, what they have to demonstrate. It's just that they won't be subject to um, the kind of detailed police background check that we would have had before. Okay. And, and, have we com and have we communicated with these businesses? Do we have any feedback from them as to what's going to transpire on September 1st? Um, we haven't communicated so much with them at this point, but I think legitimate massage therapists are uh, who are they are well aware of this state organization. And I don't know if the police chief has any other comments or thoughts about it that I want to add. So my, my my comment is that yes, there you know I think I can speak for myself, but I've gone to a legitimate massage therapist, you know, and they've like saved my life because at that point you needed you needed it. So there's those, and then I also understand that you know we have to have the laws and the and the guidelines because because of what has happened out there. So there are some less than spa quality massages being right. done out there. Right. Yeah. And but I I just want to know. I mean, is 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 this MTO now going to make these legitimate s massage therapists go through you know a whole whole another bunch of hurdles a whole bunch of I'm sorry what another, another another reviews no, you know other certifications anything I mean, they, they, they do detail in this law uh, the process not only in terms of the hours that they have to have acquired from legitimate massage schools that are recognized by the organization mm -hmm. and there is also a uh, fingerprinting and the criminal background check but they, they only have to do that if they want the state certification that, that's right if so they don't if want the st state certification they can remain under the laws that the city currently has, is that correct? correct? So right. it, they're really not going to be forced to do anything, although it probably gives them a higher level of legitimacy, if you want to call it that. Uh, the one thing, does the, uh, the new ordinance should probably require uh, posting, I don't know if it does, but of the certifications. Uh, I think that's a good idea. You know, especially if you have yeah, uh, closed, closed have doors and whatnot, the there should yeah. be posting for the police that, you know, required that the certifications post in, in a visible lobby or place. Okay. Chief, you had some comments on that? Just to answer the question, there's four establishments in town. We have not conveyed the regulations with this. Um, this is a relatively yeah. recent uh, enactment, um, but we will be following up with those establishments. Thank you. One, one last question. I know there are massage therapists that Work, they're sole proprietors and they work by appointment and they go directly to a residence. How does... Well, you know, that's an interesting question about the home occupation, but the rule is that you just can't treat them differently than you could would other professionals or um, uh, providers of professional type services. So in our code, those are medical, dental offices and uh, accountants and such. Um, so I will look at that because I don't know if our code, what our code says about that. Okay. Through the chair, just so I understand. So in essence, what the state has now done is if a, or if they want to open up a facility anywhere that you would allow dentistry, eye care, they have that right to open up an establishment as well. That's right. I do want to be clear that under our code, um, those types of services, medical, dental, professional, are not allowed in residential districts. So they won't just start popping up in residential districts, but it would eliminate the um, distance <coughs> requirement of the 500 feet to residential. O only if they comply with the state requirements. Only if they, that's correct. And so. I sort of suspect, could be wrong, but I suspect that some of the non-legitimate ones will not be seeking certification through the state. Right. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Thank you.